In this video I'm going to explain how to use the bones with pixel art in ToonSquid and also how to use symbols with the bones in ToonSquid. In the last video I did a video about using bones in ToonSquid with vector layers and I got some questions about how to do that with pixel art. So I painted this uh, little koala with uh, the paintbrushes in ToonSquid and I divided them up in when you go to the layers. I have uh, the head, the front arm, the legs, the body and the other legs. And what you need to do to bind the layers uh, the right way to pixel art is first uh, make a mesh around all the shapes. But first I'm going to make a group because later on we're going to add the bones. So I add group, select all of these pixel layers and drag it to the group. So now it's in the group. And now we can add the mesh to all the layers. So I'm first going to start with the head, press on the properties and then effects. And under rigging, you see mesh. And I'm just going to zoom in and you can draw a mesh around by just placing points around your shape. And I'm also going to add one in the middle. And you have to do that for all the, the shapes. So add a mesh and I'm just going to turn off the head. That you can see on which layer you're working. And I'm going to add a mesh. And if you made too many points on the left side, you have uh, a mesh with scissors. So then you can delete uh, some points of your mesh. And with the transform mesh, you can transform the image. So we're going to the foot and add a mesh I'm going to do the same for the body and the foot behind So now you have added all the meshes to each individual layer and now you can add bones to your character. Just go to the properties and select group. Select bones and now you can draw the bones. Select this bone because that will be attached to the arms uh, left and right. You have to select it and then draw the bone. Select it again. Then draw the bone. And this is the loaf of bread he is holding. Then select the hip bone and draw the bones for the feet and 
And when you now use the bones, the images uh, deform and you don't want that. So what you need to do is bind uh, the bones to the right layer. So tap on the bone, tap on edit bone binding, then select the layer, select it again, and then select bind to bone. And you have to do that for all the layers, edit bone binding, And this little one, sometimes you need to zoom in because you have a little bone. Edit bone binding. Edit bone binding. So now all of the bones have binding to the right layers in your group. And now you can start animating and now you can see that the parts don't deform. So you can animate your character. So I made this quick little walk of the koala using the bones. What you also can do if, if you have a walk cycle, you can make a symbol out of it uh, by just selecting the layer and then create symbol. So then you can create a new scene, go to the library and there you find the symbol. And now if you have a timeline and make it a little bit bigger use the transform tool to drag your character from to the left and then on the end frame drag it to the right and then it walks across the screen I also got a question if you can use symbols uh, with the bones and I've made this video uh, a long time ago uh, by using the mouth shapes to do some mouth sync with your character how you can do lip -sync in and here I just use the bone hierarchy but you can also use uh, the bones with with the symbols and also use when you select uh, the mouth shape you can select each mouth shape by uh, using the markers and i've made a video about you know using the markers for uh, mouth syncing and i'll leave a link below this video but here i'm just going to show you how you can add a symbol to a, a bone what I'm first going to do is select the head because the mouth is going to be on the head and then uh, create a new layer and go to the library and then select the mouth shapes. And if you do that, it's going to select a new layer on your timeline. You don't want that. So what I'm going to do is uh, select this copy it then select the head shape and then paste it so now you have I'm just going to turn this off and i have to replace it zoom in and place the mouth in the right place 
just gonna delete all of these layers so on top there's the audio and now they're just looping but what I first need to do is create a group I'm also going to add the body uh, and I'm gonna select I'm not going to copy it from the timeline but from the drawing layers so copy and copy the head and paste above and then drag it down so I can delete this so now I have the three drawing layers so the mouth shape the head and the body and I'm going to create a group then drag them all in the group and now I can make the bones I'm gonna select effects bones this is the biggest bone the neck and the head and when you now select the bones they just move around too much so you need to bind the layers first so edit bone binding select bind to bone and do the same for the mouse shape and I need to zoom in edit bone binding bind to bone edit bone binding bind to bone and the same for the body so now everything is set and the mouth shapes just keep keep on uh, running but so now all the bones are bind to the the layers so now we can animate uh, the animation when you run it now uh, the mouth shape just keeps moving and now you can start animating the mouth shapes uh, by selecting the right group or the right layer with the mouth in it go to properties scroll down and then you can uh, do the mouth shape with select from markers and here you can choose the different mouth shapes and to sync the audio to the mouth So now you can go back to the group. I'm not going to do the entire animation, but just to show you that you can use the mouth shapes or the symbol with bones. So I'm going to uh, select go up the bones. so this is how you can use the bones uh, with symbols but you know everything you need to do in the drawing layers I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!